We are into a new month and that means we have a whole new set of things to see in the skies in the coming days. So we'll start with August 8th this coming Sunday. We will have a new moon and once that new moon shows back up again or we start to see the waxing crescent, it will actually be near Venus in the western sky around sunset beginning on Tuesday the 10th. Venus is very easy to see because it's one of the brightest objects in the sky. Then on August 12th that Thursday, it will be the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. Now this meteor shower started back in July and will actually continue all the way through the end of this month, but the peak of it will be occurring on Thursday. That's when you could see up to 100 meteors per hour during the pre dawn hours of Thursday, but you can also catch it on Wednesday night all the way through Friday night. And because we'll have just had that new moon, we'll only have the waxing crescent. We should actually have some nice dark time overnight to be able to see those meteors. They're not in any one particular part of the sky. You can just go out and look up. Then as we go toward the end of the month, August 22nd, that Sunday, will be the full sturgeon moon that will be taking place at 802 AM on Sunday morning. So both Saturday night and again on Sunday night, the moon will be looking full. Obviously at times this month, you'll also be able to see that ISS, the International Space Station crossing through our skies. We'll keep you up to date on those times as we get closer to each of those things. So keep up to date with the very latest on what you can see in the August sky on WBIR.com. With that, I'll send it back to you.